Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here, and welcome back for another figure review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the officially licensed Helen Kills figure from NECA. We interrupted an important experiment in progress. I am shocking how many wise things here with another NECA figure review. I did one a while ago with my review of the NECA Ultimate Sam figure from the film Trick or Treat. So I'm now doing it because I got a few more NECA figures and I got a couple more. This one and another one which I'll eventually do a video review for. Also too you may notice it's still the same setup as the last video except my background has changed. I got an actual background. got this amazing tapestry and I love it. I hope you guys like the new background. Hope you guys like the new lighting setup I got in here. Also too, I got a new microphone since the last time. Improved setup. And hopefully I do a better job this time around. The last time I didn't do that bad, so let's see about this. Because I'm not, I've never reviewed figures before. Or anything like that. Get right in here. As you can tell, the figures are already out of the box. I know that the cardinal sin against collectors. And I was like, never take it out of the box. Please, please. Do not take it out of the box, please. Whatever you do, do not take the figure out of the damn box. I don't see the point in it. I just leave them out of the box. I'm not intending on selling them at all. So here's the box it comes in. This, uh, just the cool Howling Kills poster. I actually prefer the poster for Howling Kills than the poster for the 2018 film. So, yeah, there's Michael. Love that one. And then here's the side. Here's the bag just showing you the figure and everything and all the different accessories it has. There's the upper spine. Now if we just open here, uh, this is where the figure would be inside and all the accessories. Uh, I don't intend on pulling out every accessory here. As you can see there is another mask here but there's a silver shamrock skull mask from when michael killed that kid in the film there's all the different weapons michael used even a common baseball bat yes a few interchangeable hands so a uh, pretty detailed figure here and let's get to the figure itself this is the howling kills figure from NECA it looks great to hang to it it this is like i was so excited when i got this figure in because i do not have like, I'm new to collecting figures for, like, four figures. I've collected a few in the past, but I'm new to NECA, actually, so... The only other NECA figure I got is that Sam figure from the film Trick or Treat, which I did a previous review on. And go check that out, that'll be in the link below, if you have not seen it. But anyway, if you actually look here, just look at the detail on this figure. And I have them doing the classic head tilt pose here. There's his side with the burn. I, oh wait, that's not the burn. It's when he got shot in the neck by Karen in the 2018 film. Back. Now here's the burnt and here's the crispy side of Michael. So. And you also see his, uh, Damaged hand from when Lori blew off his fingers in the 2018 film. He's wielding a bloody kitchen knife that I decided to put in him. And uh, he can move pretty well, like I said, because you could pose him in different directions. Or have him looking down or up. You can move his arm. Well, kind of. I mean, he could kind of move his arms a bit in his hand. He could also move his other one. Kind of, sort of. And Michael's is standing on right now these uh, display plates. These are actually made from NECA. I picked them up at a Target, so 
uh, but you could probably pick them up online. I will say the one thing I don't like about these display stands, they're not very, like, they can hold on to, I mean, they're, it's holding on to them pretty good, but it's like if I were to do this, you just fall right off. It's like if I put them on shelves, sometimes they would fall off. The other figure that I'm about going to review at some point, uh, the figure did fall off the stand like that and fell onto my couch. I was like, hell happened to the figure? And it fell onto the couch, like behind the pillow. And, you know, I thought at first somebody might have stole the figure. But, yeah. Awesome figure. I actually really dug the figure. Really good representation of how Michael Myers looks in Helen Hill. Even some of the detail that you can see, it's undershirt that he wore in the same kind that was uh, worn by James Lee Courtney. 2018 film, and I think also Helen Hill. Yeah, definitely Helen Hill, but I'm not sure about Helen 2018. Some more looking coveralls and everything, and just the detail on the coveralls, even like the pocket kind of flaps open a little bit. So, yeah, awesome detail. Again, that's something I praised about next with my first figure review. Their detail is amazing. I love the detail they put into their figures. In fact, honestly, so I got a couple figures over there. Uh, that are not NECA. I may actually see about trying to get replacements for them that are NECA and maybe get rid of the non-NECA versions of the figures because I'm again you gotta admire the craftsmanship from NECA. My only problem is is honestly with NECA at this point are their display stands. I wish they could do a better job with their display stands and I forgot to mention well this too, but to be fair, at the time I did not have one of these display stands, so with the Sam figure, uh, for some reason, so how you put these on is that uh, the figures would have poles on the bottom of their shoes or whatever, and you just kind of just stick them in there. And yeah, uh, the Sam figure does not have those little holes on the bottom of the shoe, so. Uh, what I had to do, I decided to use uh, uh, some mounting putties from my Gorilla Mounting Buddy, uh, which again, I'm not being sponsored by Gorilla, but man, their their stuff is awesome. I've used a mounting putty for like my posters in my bedroom, so and works pretty well. My bedroom is uh, being made out of drywall or something like that, some kind of wall, and I just can't, you know. And the poster frames, nothing like that. So we end up finding this, I think, like a mountain putty, and it works like a charm. The posters stay up pretty well. And yeah, I just love the Gorilla product. So if you have a similar problem, go check them out. Go out and get some of the mountain putty if you have a similar problem. Works really well. But yeah, that's why I had to do. Well, and again, I'm not sponsored by a Gorilla at all or any of just. I just like to say I dig their product, especially the mountain putty, and, which is like how I put the same figure on the Mecha display place. Overall, terrific figure here. I honestly would recommend you pick up this figure. This figure retails at about 40 bucks, uh, 30 bucks, something like that. Not a bad price, especially with what you get here and all the accessories, especially if you're a collector. Or you think you're not a collector, if you're a horror fan in general, uh, I highly recommend you pick this guy up. NECA also has other Michael Myers figures in that, so if you don't like the look of Michael Myers and Hound Kill, for me personally I do, but if you do not, then you could go and pick up another figure of Michael Myers from NECA from any of the different films like Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 4, 5, 6, H2O and so on and so forth. Also, uh, NECA did a figure for the 2018 film. So, if you're not a fan of the Howling Kills figure, like the look of How Michael Myers and Howling Kills, then, but you do like the look of Michael Myers and Howling 2018, then you can pick up the uh, NECA version, like the NECA figure from the, of Michael Myers from the 2018 film. So, yeah, again, highly recommend this company so far. I love their figures that I've gotten. Uh, the next figure I might pick up, like, there's another figure I might pick up if tar the target I went to still has it, and that's the NECA Hellraiser pinhead figure. I'd love to get that, so 
may do that here well uh the next figure i got coming up to review is the uh friday 13 part 7 the new blood jason Voorhees figure the ultimate jason Voorhees figure uh got it up there can't wait to talk about that one that's another cool figure that i would like to talk to you guys about also too before you guys leave if you like this video be sure to hit the like button and also if you're new to this channel be sure to hit the subscribe button it'll help me out i'm a relatively new channel only got like 19 subscribers now if you guys do genuinely like or love my videos be sure you click the like button and if you're new subscribe it will really help out this channel and actually will help me produce more content and even better content and I do got so much content planned in the future. So hopefully this is a channel that will succeed and not die a horrible death. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.